a man who fell victim to a cell phone thief. The man's phone was found inside a cell phone kiosk. Now, these particular kiosks are popping up all over the place, and this theft has investigators taking a closer look at those kiosks. Mark Boyle's live now at Katie Mills Mall, where that phone was found. So, Mark, I know you talked with the victim. The victim says he lost his phone. Within a matter of hours, it was tracked here to the Katie Mills Mall, and it was found here all because he had an iPhone and that Find My iPhone app was turned on. <laughs> Tim Sutherland is a car salesman in Katy, and when he accidentally left his cell phone in a car he had just sold, he figured it would be returned, but that was anything but the case. He says the young man he sold the car to took his phone and sold it for cash. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to want him arrested for that, yeah. Without his phone, he was lost. It's your lifeline to uh, work. Yesterday, I spent, uh, I had five cars sold, and I, had, I spent the whole day apologizing to people for not returning phone calls. This is a breakdown of how quickly things went yesterday. Sutherland realized the phone was missing around 11.50. His tech-savvy wife and daughter figured they should at least try the Find My iPhone app, and by 3.30, they realized it was somewhere in the Katie Mills Mall. By 4.15, the phone was tracked to this eco ATM, and by 5 o'clock, Sutherland had his phone back in his hands. The Eco ATM is a machine where you can sell your phone and get cash right on the spot. I usually track my kids with this. <laughs> and my kids. Now they use it to track yeah, you. Now, now they track me. So, it worked out real well. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says it believes it knows who the suspect is and will now work to track him down. And to make that arrest easy, these phone ATM machines are loaded with cameras and record the entire transaction so it's hard to hide who you really are. So we, we do believe in the, uh, the, uh, the find my phone app. And Sutherland says he found out that his phone was sold for about $30. So all of this for $30 and police know exactly who that person is because on, at those ATMs, just like a bank ATM, there's a camera there so it can track who's using it. From reporting live at Katie Mills Mall, I'm Mark Boyle, KPRC Channel 2 News.